Hi, my name is Andrew Raymond Schwartz. Sliders, slammers, mini burgers. You've heard many different words for this type of food, and we're going to be making it today. We got a tomato, sun dried tomatoes, one medjool date, some basil. I don't know if you can see it, but cloves of garlic. <laughs> cloves of garlic. Two cloves of these garlic chunks. Salt and pepper to taste. So, and the cayenne. So, what is this? One teaspoon yeah. of oregano, and then the rest of these things to t like however much you want in it. Yeah. In an annoying twist, the KitchenAid food processor did not even start out of the box. So we're going to use the old standby, the Hamilton Beach blender. You can hear the medjool date bouncing around in there. We've got one cup of macadamia nuts that have been soaked for one hour. And I'm gonna take this water and pour it so the water's just above the nuts. Good enough. And then I'm going to blend it. Just this stuff first. Because then next we're gonna put this stuff in. But now I'm gonna just kind of chop this up for the blender. This is one fourth of a small red onion. Just gonna put the red onions in. I'm gonna, this is just one clove of garlic. I'm chopping it up. Oh, here goes the garlic. All right, now we didn't have enough fresh basil. So we've got the fresh basil here from our downstairs garden. And we've got, we've got dried basil here. So we're just gonna put this in. And chop this up a little bit. Now putting it into the blender. A salt and pepper to taste. Mmm, okay, so that's done. These are portabellinis. Wash these and take the stems off. Since we're dehydrating it, we're just gonna take a damp paper towel and kind of clean it off. Clean all the dirt off. This is a zucchini that I put, chopped the top and the bottom off. I don't know why I did that. But I've got a mandolin slicer here and I put the french fry attachment on it. Start slicing it. That's a lot. Like nothing to grab off on. Okay, now I'm gonna put the normal piece back on this thing. Okay, so now I've got these brightly colored peppers. I have this on the blue setting, which happens to be three millimeters. We got black olives here. And we've got some of these onions here, which I'm gonna cut into strips. All right, so we got the onions now. These are the stems to the mushrooms. And just kind of put it. Now I'm gonna put the zucchini on. I got zucchini stripped on there like this. Now I'm gonna put a layer of cheese over that, nice and thick on there. I think I'm gonna put one of these on there. This is pretty much up to you. It's like whatever you like to put on your salad or your pizza which I like everything. I love everything to go on there. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, it looks really good. Okay, so now we're gonna dehydrate it for two to three hours. Hopefully I have a good end product. All right, try it. Mmm. That's really good. It tastes like a pizza. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Really good. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna try this. Mmm, that's really good. Mm. Whoa. Oh, look at that. I ate the whole top off of it. Mmm. <laughs> These are super good. They're really good. Yeah. <laughs> Not even baking it. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> 